Hey everyone. What's up guys, unofficial MCU here. Hope you're all doing well, and in this video we are going to be discussing Captain Marvel 2, the Marvels with its first box office projections. We are going to go ahead and hop right on into it. In this video we are going to be taking a read from the Direct's article. I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well. As a read, some fans are worried after some abyssal box office projections were released for the Marvel's movie. After an up and down year overall for Disney at the ticket window, the Hollywood giant is hoping to strike it big with Captain Marvel 2, although that doesn't necessarily seem to be the case thus far. Brie Larson's first Captain Marvel film was a certified box office hit, earning over 1.1 billion worldwide, making it the first female-led superhero movie to cross the $1 billion mark. Although, if I'm being completely honest, I don't think I can name any other female superhero movies, unless we're talking like Black Widow, but yeah, we need more. And so, according to the reports, The Marvels is one of the MCU's not only just most expensive movies ever to make in the recent years, it's also seemingly the shortest Marvel movie to date, so the profit that they're trying to make will be harder than it was for the 2019 original quite easily, especially seeing how the 2019 movie was released between the two biggest Marvel movies, if not movies ever in the world, action movies that is, between Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. This year all being said, what are these projections looking like for the Marvels so far? New reportings from experts revealed that this could be an abysmal box office run for the upcoming Captain Marvel sequel. According to the box office pros, the Marvels is projected to earn between 50 million to 75 million domestically over its opening weekend, and between 121 million and 189 million in totally, like domestically, after it's out of the theaters. And so, as we may expect, this is quite a far cry from the first Captain Marvel film in 2019, which was estimated to make over 100 million in its opening weekend alone domestically, with some experts off offering even more enthusiastic pro projections of upward of $120 million coming from Variety. Captain Marvel, the first movie, famously outdid these estimates, making more than $150 million in its domestic opening weekend. This $50 to $75 million figure is roughly half of what was estimated for Warner Bros. in The Flash earlier this year, which, after middling box office projections, would go on to become one of the biggest financial failures in studio history. Compared to some of Marvel Studios' other recent films, this first The Marvel's projection doesn't look good, honestly. Should the Marvels hit the low end of its opening projections, it would become the new record holder for the MCU's lowest domestic opening weekend, taking the inevitable spot from the 2008's The Incredible Hulk movie, which opened to $55 million in the US during the franchise's birth year. So, the high points of these recent projections came with the 2022's Black Panther Wakanda Forever, projected to earn $180 million in its opening weekend, and Dr. Strange Strange in the Multiverse of Madness projected to make $165 million in its opening weekend. For context, here's some of the other MCU opening weekends, with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, $118.4 million, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, $104 million, Black Panther, What Kind of Forever, $181 million, Thor Love and Thunder, $144 million, and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, $187 million. So, this year all being said, how will the Marvel's movie fair at the box office. While these numbers are simply projections for the time being, things aren't necessarily looking good for the Marvel's mere weeks before it kicks off in its box office run. These projections also come from the pre-ticket sales as well. Given the success of the first film, some experts have predicted that the film has the potential to earn as much as $70-50 million at the worldwide box office. An achievement this post-pandemic era is something that could happen, but that $1 billion performance of Captain Marvel could have had more to do with where and when it came out, as I had mentioned, being released right between Avengers Infinity War and Endgame than it did the actual film itself. If this projection 
production for the movie does come to pass, even getting over 300 million will be a Herculean task. Some were skeptical of Captain Marvel 2's box office potential when it was initially set to open one week after Dennis Volanier's Dune Part 2, but with that film getting delayed out of this year, 2023, until next year, the runaway was seemingly cleared for the Marvels to capitalize and that all attention would be on this movie. Everything has been set in place for the movie to succeed at this point even. It's just a matter of it, it will actually be able to grab a hold of this opportunity. A huge factor in the Marvel's long-term success though will be if it pans out critically. Strong word of mouth is what makes box office a juggernauts these days it seems. And so, movies like Quantumania open to pretty respectable numbers, only to fall short though however of its run due to poor word of mouth. So this year all being said, trust the process, either way on how this movie does perform in the box office, I think it's kind of a regardless thing at this point that there would be a third Captain Marvel movie, I'm not worried about anything on that forefront that's just part of marvel's formula in this day and age which is completely fine it's something i appreciate and honestly like it's really just at the end of the day interesting to take a look at these insights and for how this movie would be perceived by the fans and actually perform uh, for the company itself so this year all being said guys let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below i would love to hear what you guys are all thinking and what do you want to see with the captain marvel movie thanks so much for watching today's video uh, of course this has been unofficial mcu i'll catch you guys in the next one have a great one Peace out.